on this episode of Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. The Wire to Wire Action Builds as the season-ending showdown is finally here, the Shell Championship. And the pressure rises as the best of the best have one goal in mind, a ticket into the 2019 Web.com Tour. And then, who will make it into the top five and who will miss the mark? The accomplishment and, and meeting and achieving a goal of mine for the entire year is something that I will reflect and assess how I can do the same thing next year. It all starts now on Esto is PGA Tour Latino America. Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. After 16 events across 10 countries, PGA Tour Latino America has packed its bags and landed in the Latin hub of Florida, Miami. As a season-long race has reached its finale, everything dwindles down to one final event, the Shell Championship. And with a new course to conquer, everyone had their game plans in order. I think good week this week is driving it well off the tee. There's a lot of kind of carry bunkers that are, you know, either you got to hit it well to be able to carry it and just place yourself in some good spots. And this week brought added excitement as only the top 60 on the order of merit received the coveted invite. With top players in the field, tough competition was on the horizon as everyone would be gunning for one more chance to make it up on the order of merit and move on to the web.com tour. Sé que los seis tenemos chance, eh, pero simplemente hay que controlar lo que uno como jugador y como pues puede controlar que es pegar buenos tiros, estar calmado, tener buena actitud y tratar de no pensar el resultado final de lo que va a ser eh, la lista de ganancias ni el domingo. Including Harry Higgs, who is eager to pass the holder of the number one spot, Nicolás Echevarria. I'm in a position where I can pass him, and then pressure will come. Obviously, it's nice to be paired with him, and hopefully he and I both play well and we're paired together every day. A cut-free week meant that everyone could breathe a sigh of relief, but you never know when one shot might be the one to take it home. The Shell Championship marks the graduation for players to move forward and chase PGA Tour dreams. And though the path up to the Tour is no easy feat, it is always a celebration to hear the success of past PGA Tour Latino America alumni who've made that dream a reality. Players like Mexico's Jose de Jesus Rodriguez. After having a breakthrough season last year on PGA Tour Latino America with four top 25s, four top 10s, and two wins at the 70 Avianca Colombia Open and the Abierto del Paraguay, El Camarón found himself atop the order of merit by season's end, securing full status on the Web.com Tour for the 2018 season. Gracias a Latinoamérica por la oportunidad que nos ha abierto, por estar a darnos oportunidad a todos los latinos. Creo que el PGA Latinoamérica nos abre puertas para mejorar, para estar al 100% para llegar a este tour del web. Y aquí está el resultado. But Rodriguez didn't stop there. The 37-year-old found success again, but this time on the web.com tour. Four top 25s, two top 10s, and a win at the United Leasing and Finance made him the player to watch. A todo, todo Latin America nos abre puertas. Más que nada es preparación para llegar al web y al PA Tour. And if that weren't enough, Rodriguez closed out the year with a final cherry on top, a PGA Tour card for the 2018-19 season. But it was here on PGA Tour Latino America's fairways that started it all. Yo este, estoy muy agradecido con toda la gente que, que hace posible los eventos en, en Latinoamérica, porque gracias a ellos tenemos este, posibilidades de poder llegar al PGA Tour, que es el, el sueño de todo golfista. With Web.com Tour status for next season on the line, players weren't afraid to make a statement during the opening round of the Shell Championship. One of them was Spain's Mario Galeano Aguilar, 
who finished with an eagle and two birdies. Looking for his maiden victory, the rookie sits 37th on the order of merit after four top tens this season. Brazil's Alexandre Rocha polished off three consecutive birdies on his final three holes for five under 67. Tied for second, while four others matched Rocha's scores, including Argentina's Tano Goya. In just five starts this season, Goya finished top 25 or better, moving him into the 30th spot on the order of merit and punching a ticket to Miami for the first time. Para mí venir ya estar acá es, es un premio. Eh, como te dije antes, eh, hace dos tres meses que, que volví acá a Argentina y, y no sabía muy bien qué iba a hacer. Hoy estoy acá jugando con los mejores 60 de Latinoamérica, en una cancha impresionante, en un lugar increíble. Looking for his second win this season, Miami Beach native Michael Buttecavoli finished the day on top of a tight leaderboard by one shot. A win this week would mean the local favorite would break into the top five for the first time in his career. Doral's been a part of my life for a long time, and the only way that I gain anything from this week, um, as far as the money list goes, or moving up in tours, is if I win. So that's the goal. Build a little bit of a rhythm, and if Sunday I have a chance to win and I get to put myself in that situation, then that's a bonus. Up next on Esto is PGA Tour Latino America, we meet Austin Smotherman, who's found a cushy spot on the order of merit. This year, going into the final event number three is definitely a goal of mine. And then, the chase continues as the action unfolds during the second round of the Shell Championship. All that and more, next. Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. Last month, history was made on PGA Tour Latino America when Mexico's Isidro Benitez lifted his first trophy as a professional. De Mexico, Isidro Benitez. Desde que me paré en el hoyo uno, me sentí muy cómodo. Dejé que fluyera el golf que traía y que tuviera que pasar lo que tenía que pasar. With his victory, the 19-year-old became the youngest winner in tour history. And his flawless performance earned him a spot in 2019's The Open Championship in Northern Ireland. Si no ganaba, alguien más iba a ganar. Yo hubiera estado feliz por él porque iba a ir al Open y me tocó a mí esta vez. Es el torneo que más ganas tengo de jugar después del Masters. Es un sueño que se va a hacer realidad y estoy muy, muy contento de poder llevarlo a cabo hoy. The Mexican teenager jumped 70 positions in the order of merit, punching another important ticket. This time to Miami, Florida for the season-ending Shell Championship. I think I'm growing a lot, my golf has grown a lot, I've matured a lot as a player. I'm very happy with myself, with all my team, my work, my parents, my brothers. In fact, my brother plays in the PGA Tour Latin America with me, and that makes it much more fun and more fun. I'm 19 years old, I'm almost 20 in January, and I'm very, very happy to have this achievement. I'm the most young champion in winning a professional tournament in Mexico, so I'm very happy. Austin Smotherman looks back on his 2017 performance at the Shell Championship. Last year, I was able to play my way into kind of the final group to have a chance to win. I had a 12-footer to force a playoff and kind of changed the year. I couldn't sneak into the top 10. Smotherman's sophomore season was nothing short of impressive. With seven birdies, Smotherman broke through a tightly bunched leaderboard with a final round 65 for his maiden victory. I really didn't think I was going to shoot any other score. I just had to keep playing my game. After taking home the 59 Abierto Mexicano de Golf title, the 24-year-old earned his fifth top 10 of the season with a seventh place finish at the 113th Visa Open de Argentina. Austin Smotherman. Reaching his season-long achievement was key to unlocking third place on the order of merit. You know, this year, Going into the final event, number three is definitely a goal of mine at the start of the year, and you know now I got a chance. As round two of the Shell Championship rolled in, all eyes were on round one leader Michael Buttecavoli. The Miami native carried his laser focus on to day two to close an impressive seven under 65. 
bit of a crazy round. I, I putted well again, um, which which helped. Uh, I got into a little trouble early and had a big par save on three. Really got things going with a big drive on four. 36 more holes to go, and I'll just try to play the same way that I played those first 36. Carding three eagles during his round surprised even Buda Cavoli, but the 30-year-old would secure that top spot on the leaderboard for the second day in a row. Definitely doesn't happen often. The eagle on 18 was a bonus. I didn't hit that one quite as close, but I made a long putt, and it was a great way to finish the round. But Buda Cavoli wasn't the only one with his eye on the prize, as a chase pack was emerging in Tano Goya, Jake McBride, and number two on the order of merit, Harry Higgs, were all looking to make a move. Higgs stayed within striking distance, racking up five birdies to just one bogey, including a birdie on his closing hole. But the stakes were high for the Texan. A win at the Shell Championship would ensure Higgs the top spot on the order of merit, as well as the Roberto de Vicenzo award that goes to the leading money winner. In order for me to have a chance to achieve my goals, I need to just be one after the other, focus, commitment, keep hitting the shots I've been hitting these first two days and, and hopefully add up some good scores and have a chance on Sunday. After the break, a chase back emerges. Can Buda Cavoli hold his lead on moving day? And later. Perfect. Is going to be tough questions? Tough, very tough. Okay. We catch up with Harry Higgs as he holds on to the number two spot on the order of merit. With really good play of the last month or so, I've, I've made a climb and I have a chance at number one, which is really all you can ask for. Next on Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. After a tough start to the 2018 PGA Tour Latino America season, American Harry Higgs caught fire in his 28th career start at the Diners Club Peru Open presented by Lexus. Higgs posted a four under 68 to capture his first victory. Winning golf tournaments is an absolute blast. I really enjoyed it. And that kind of spurred me on to wanting to be in that position again. And I was fortunate enough to play well the last two weeks to have a chance. The win jumped him from 18th on the order of merit to 5th, but his last four starts of the season would be the exclamation point of 2018. Higgs went on to find 3rd place at the New King Argentina Classic, followed by a tie for 2nd place finish in Buenos Aires, and his steady play moved him inside the top 5 for the first time in his career. It's hard this time of year to make a climb as I have, but with really good play of the last month or so, I've, I've made a climb and I have a chance at number one, which is really all you can ask for. It was a goal of mine in the beginning of the year. Higgs is sitting pretty in second place on the order of merit, and at the start of the Shell Championship, it's all about moving ahead of Nicolas Echevarria. I need to have at least a probably top four, top three finish. I'm fortunate to have a chance, definitely. But uh, no pressure, I would say, right now. Hopefully, it's all on Nico. <laughs> In my opinion, PJ Tour Latin America, for me, definitely has been the best way to prepare myself for the web.com. Moving day brought the biggest challenge of the week at the season-ending Shell Championship. Battling high winds, players continue to fight their way up a tight leaderboard, including Harry Higgs, who fired off four birdies to finish tied for second. At number two in the order of merit, Higgs could overtake the top spot with a win or solo second place finish. Joining Higgs was another American, Evan Harmling, whose three under 69 was just the sixth sub 70 round of the day. With par premium, the 18 and 36 hole leader, Michael Buttacavoli, wasn't phased by mother nature's power, firing off two early birdies to extend his lead. It's always hard to tell how anybody else is playing when you're out there and you're just out there grinding, trying to shoot as low as possible. But as the wind picked up, the Miami native's lead quickly shrunk after shooting one over on his back nine. It was a win we hadn't seen and definitely made, especially that back nine, play pretty different than yesterday. Had a lot of holes into the wind that 
margin for error was pretty small. With web.com tour stats for next year on the line, an even par round kept him on top of a close leaderboard by one shot going into Sunday. You always want to win. Uh, the fact that there's that added bonus of getting into the top five means a little more, but it's more just controlling yourself and keeping it one shot at a time and knowing that if I show up tomorrow and I, and I play well, then I'm going to have a really good chance. Coming up, a dramatic finish. I struggled with that hole all week, and I just didn't do a very good job of sticking to my routine. Can the hometown favorite pull off win number two of the season and break into the top five? Find out next on Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. There is no wonder why Nicolas Echevarria has led the order of merit. Quedar de número uno en la orden de mérito es, es un gran logro. In his ninth start of 2018, Echevarria was 23rd on the money list and ready to make a move. With a marathon championship Sunday ahead, Echevarria sunk his birdie on the 72nd hole to capture the Sao Paulo Golf Club Championship. The win vaulted him to fourth, and he showed no signs of slowing down his aggressive play. Echevarria won his second tournament in three starts, capturing the San Luis Championship by five strokes. Este año es de verdad que he jugado muy buen golf. Me he divertido mucho en el campo de golf, eh, y las dos victorias ayudan demasiado. The Colombian would round out the season with two more top 10 finishes and lock up the coveted first position in the order of merit. During the final round of the Shell Championship, it was a race to the finish line to see who would take home the final victory of the 2018 PGA Tour Latino America season, including Michael Buttercavoli, who maintained a steady lead through all three rounds. But as day four rolled in, it started to look as though his team would run dry. A misfire on 15 landed the Miami native in a rough spot. I struggled with that hole all week. I just didn't pick a target, which is what I needed to do, and made a poor swing because of it. And fortunately, I was able to get away with a bogey today. His bogey nearly cost him his advantage, but he regained his focus to close his round with a birdie on the 72nd hole and a one-stroke lead over fellow American Evan Harmling. Evan was playing very well in my group, so that actually helped to a certain extent. It's kind of somebody that's helped pushing you along the way. And as luck would have it, Buttercavoli's win jumped him up into the top five on the order of merit, ensuring him guaranteed starts on the 2019 Web.com Tour season just in the nick of time. I grew up in Miami Beach, not very far from here, so to have all my family and friends really meant a lot. And then uh, the bonus of getting into the top five, it guarantees me some web starts for next year, and that's a position that I haven't been in the previous two times that I've had web status. And with the conclusion of the Shell Championship, the Order of Merit is signed, sealed, and delivered. Coming in at number five was Colombian Marcelo Rosso, followed by American Austin Smotherman, who managed to maintain a spot among the leaders despite a less than perfect week. Michael Buttercavoli's win at the Shell Championship earned him the number three spot, while Nicolas Echevarria fell into second, leaving a new champion atop the leaderboard at number one, Harry Higgs. But Betacavoli wasn't the only one celebrating. In a last-minute turn of events, by a mere $64, Harry Higgs finally caught Order of Merit leader Nicolas Echevarria. $64, that was it. It's insane to think about out of the thousands of golf shots I hit this year, if not tens of thousands, that one of them was the difference. Higgs tie for fourth was enough to overtake Echevarria and win the Roberto de Vicenzo Award, as well as walk away number one on the order of merit, securing full status into the 2019 Web.com tour season. This was absolutely something that I was thinking about all year long. The accomplishment and, and meeting and achieving a goal of mine for the entire year is something that I will reflect and assess how I can do the same thing next year. 
And although the number one spot was slightly out of reach, reflections were in order for Echevarria of what was a very successful season on PGA Tour Latino America. Mucho, mucha dedicación te, para, para lograr hasta acá y, y muy feliz de, de tener la oportunidad de, de subir de nivel al web.com. El año fue muy bueno, eh, tengo que mirar las cosas positivas que hice este año y seguir adelante. And with the goal of making it to the web.com tour fresh on their minds, the players gave their best advice for those looking to follow in their success. Find a friend that speaks Spanish. If you can make an effort to pick up a few words, I think that's going to make the ordering food, the getting through airports, the communication with the caddy that much easier. Suddenly, your focus can start to be on the golf. You get to meet guys of all different ages. You learn about just different upbringings, guys, of how they learn the game, and you can pick their brains on how they play, you know, different skill sets. You challenge and push each other. Trabajo serio, yo creo que si uno trabaja con disciplina todos los días y, y paciencia, yo creo que es una palabra muy importante en, el, en la vida de un golfista. Si uno tiene paciencia y espera que las cosas lleguen a su momento, eh, las cosas saldrán. Next time on Esto is PGA Tour Latino America. We're heading to Cozumel, Mexico for a brand new event, the Copa Go Vacaciones in Cozumel, where PGA Tour Latino America and Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada will go head to head in a special event to commemorate another successful season. Last year, Team Mackenzie Tour took home the victory, but this year it's anyone's game. Will PGA Tour Latino America even the score? Find out on the next episode of Esto, Es PGA Tour Latino America.